it's now Thursday, and I just pulled up to Cenote. I'm meeting up with Casey, Matt, and Matt's sister, because she's in town. Cenote is my favorite burger place in Austin. I actually went here for the first time on a date when I first moved to Austin, which is literally almost three years ago crazy, but a guy took me here on a date. Um, it was my gym crush, like my first gym crush in Austin. I was like obsessed with him. I thought he was the hottest guy ever. Ended up being a major fuckboy like most of them are, but you know what? God bless that man because he introduced me to my favorite burger spot. And on Thursdays they do buy one, get one. Like that is such a deal. Buy one, get one free. And these are like big ass burgers, the sweet potato fries. Mmm, they're so freaking fire, but I probably come to sleep. I probably come to Cenote, maybe. Sorry, I'm um, really hangry right now. Um, but I probably come here maybe at least once or twice a month, whether it's for a burger by myself or breakfast or what. But it's so dang good. But I'll show you the inside. Excited to see my friends. And I'm going to vlog all day tomorrow. So. I'll catch you up with today because today has been a today's been a wild manifestation day and I cannot wait to share why. I'm super stoked, but let's go to Cenote. Oh my gosh, you can hear the little bugs. I for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of them. They make this little buzzing sound, but it makes me so happy because that's a sign that it's warm in Austin. It literally was like 75 degrees today in Austin when it's warm just hits different. It doesn't hit when it's cold but it hits when it's warm. Alrighty, we're here. Cute little back spot. Outside. Hmm. Where should we sit? Cicadas. Cicadas. That's what it is. It came to me. Alrighty, gonna wait on my friends. And it's so nice because it's on the east side and so close to downtown. Okay, I get the same thing every single time. The Cenote sweet and spicy burger. Literally, it's the best. Don't get anything else. Just kidding. Everything's good, but every time I come in, I'm like, do I get something else? And then I just end up getting this one because it's the best. Breakfast. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Okay, guys, no more buy one, get one. You heard it here first. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> You're shit out of luck. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so, so sad. Oh, it's okay. When one door closes, another opens, you know? Oh, look at these cute little sleeves. Oh my gosh, I totally just put them on the spot. Did you get a new lens? No. Does it look new? This is looking with my camera. I didn't know if like your camera was... It um, flips. What? It's got the flip screen. You want to be on camera now? Wait, you get a new camera? No, this is this has always been my camera. Was this lens always that big? Yeah. It looks like one of the, like the interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can what's it called? Rotate it. Okay, no, I thought you could like take this camera off. Oh, if you wanted, like, a longer one, no, no, no. Uh, push -pull lens. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go wait for our food. Bend the knife across, and that's when you know. Oh, is that so? Oh yeah. Let's see yours. What'd you get? I got a BLT. Flat. Bacon lettuce, avocado, Black. tomato, avocados. Oh, with that hot honey fried chicken. Hot honey Ooh, fried chicken. Fish tacos. Yummy. Yum. I, um, I used to think that when it came to manifestation, that like all I'd have to do was just sit there and visualize and manifest, and like the shit would come to me. I thought about that for a very long time. But there have been multiple instances in my life. I mean, I've been manifesting for literally forever. Um, but as I self-reflect over what I've manifested recently, 
Um, it allows me to reflect on how I've really quickly manifested things in the past and my process and pattern in doing so. So, um, you know, with feeling how I've been feeling the past few months, I came to a decision. I was at my parents um, and I got back maybe like a week and a half ago. And last week was a really tough, hard week for me. And at the start of this week, I was just literally announced out loud to the universe. I was like, I'm done. Like, I'm done feeling like this. I'm done feeling up, down, sideways. Like, no, I'm done. I'm over it. I need a change and I need a change now. So universe, just help me out. Help a sister out because I am done. There's no going back. Like I was very vocal in what I said. And throughout this week, like instant changes started to happen. So I think that I announced this maybe Monday or Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, um, I was standing in the shower. I'm just gonna say it's Tuesday, I don't know, beginning of the week, I was standing in the shower, doing a big like self audit on myself, how I'm feeling, and I, again, talked to myself out loud, and I was like, Rebecca, is what you're doing, is what you are spending your time and energy on, is it helping you expand in your being? Like, are you actually feeling good doing these things? And quickly, I was like, no, like, I don't feel good. Like, I've spent a lot of time and energy into these things, but they truly like at the root don't make me feel don't make me feel good. So my next kind of like question to the universe was like, help me, help me to make me feel good. Help me to expand in my being. Like that is what I'm trying to call in right now. So did that, announced it out loud to the universe, and I'm reading this book right now. I showed it in my last vlog, but it's called Signs and I'm almost at the end of the book, but I was reading this chapter. It shares a bunch of stories about people who are very open to what the other side um, shows and gives them in terms of people that have passed, just like signs from light workers. It's a really incredible book, but in this chapter that I was reading, it was sharing someone's story and how they see rainbows and um, just like their significance about them. So I read this chapter, I got up, and after I made this like decision uh, earlier on in the week that like I'm done, I just felt this instant release. Like for months and months and months, you guys, I've just been feeling like I've been acting out of fear. Like I have questioned so many times, I've like asked the universe, like universe, I know that I'm supported and I'm guided, but like in internally, I think I was really questioning that like, well shit, I'm asking to be supported and guided and I know that I am, but like, am I really? Like, am I really supported and guided? Because it sure as hell doesn't feel like that because I was acting out of fear and I was not acting out of faith and out of love. But for some reason, this, I got to this point where I was like, enough is enough, I, something needs to change and I instantly just felt a release. So I think it was maybe on Wednesday, I read this chapter afterwards. When I tell you that I saw like three rainbows I was literally just like making breakfast and I saw like three rainbows and I was like, whoa, this is kind of crazy. In addition to the rainbows, um, oh, I've already been talking for six minutes. We'll try to wrap this up, um, but it's important. So in addition to seeing the rainbows, I see angel numbers all the time. Angel numbers are one of those things that like are just such a good omen for me. And within the past few months, I have seen them. I kid you not. Some days it's 20 times a day, sometimes it's 30 times a day. It's like, it's literally, okay, 30 might be a little dramatic, but it, it's a lot, a lot of angel numbers. This past week, not only have I seen angel numbers, but there have been so many instances where like I'm driving and I look up, in front of me is 777, to my left is 111, to my right is 444. I mean, I have literally been surrounded by them and I'm like, holy shit, like I am supported. Like, I don't know what's happening and what's changing but I am supported and I just feel it and I know it. And even though like, I don't know what's coming next and that is scary in a sense, I just know that like what's coming next is good. So long story short, that all has been happening. And to tie this up, um, I have been looking into tr transitioning out of the work that I do to support myself. I've been self-employed for the past two years. Um, and just at the end of the day, it doesn't make me feel good. It's not serving me. I know that I'm meant for so much more. Um, so I ended up, this woman reached out to me, we got on a call, that call led to meeting in person, a job opportunity that just like, it all just aligned and it was quick and it was fast and it truly was like everything that I asked for. And sitting back, like I was reflecting on it yesterday and today and I, that's why I knew I'm like, I have to share this story to the vlog, but 
it was because I had true clarity about what I wanted and I wasn't settling. So that's something that I want to harp on in the past. Why I know that things have not worked out the way they were supposed to is because I was kind of like in this waiting game kind of period like I think I want this but I don't really know if I deserve it and I'm not going to give you universe like a true final answer because I don't really know if I'm worth it but this time I was just like this shit does not make me feel good this is what I want this is what I know it's going to make me feel good and the universe was like okay we're acting quick so I, with all that I feel really good I feel really aligned do I know if this is going to work out in all certainty no but I know that it makes me feel good and I know that this is the next step like i just know it and i feel it um so i wanted to kind of give you all some tips tricks steps on how i actually got to this happening so one is to figure out and to actually get clarity on what you want um i can give you so many examples of this process that i implement in my life and how quickly things come about so one is to get clarity you know you've got to really like dig down deep and figure out what is it what you want secondly once you're clear on what you want ask like i think everyone has a very different process for how they go about asking i in the past have really tried to implement a lot of things that work for other people but what i know works for me is through trial and error and i know that for me personally it's like literally saying out loud what i want it's saying it out loud being confident in that not thinking Am I worthy of this? Um, can this actually be attainable for me? It's just like, no, this is what I want, okay? So it's declaring what you want, um, whether that be through writing it down, speaking it into existence, whatever it is. Um, thirdly, it is praying on it. So like, pray, ask questions, like, you know, ask for help. I think praying and asking for help maybe go hand in hand because like there have been so many times where I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to come about this. Like, you know, can I have some help and guidance? Can you bring people into my life? Can you help me with this? And just praying on it. So praying and asking for help um, really work hand in hand, I truly believe. And lastly, it's just like not thinking twice about it. Don't think twice about it. Put it out to the universe. Like, don't let yourself fall into the cycle of like, okay, ask for it. Now, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Like, if you know deep down inside that this is what you want and this is what is gonna, what is gonna make you feel good, like, don't second guess it. Like, keep on putting in the work and the intention and the action will quickly follow. So that's kind of like my four step process. So it's getting clear, asking, um, three, I mean, you can kind of separate these, praying and asking for help, but I like to put them together. And four, it's just like, let it be. Um, so with that, I mean, there are so many instances in my life that I can clearly think back to when I know that this happened. I mean, just some, some off the top of my head, recently back in like the end of summer, I was like, one, I want to surround myself with people who truly, truly align with me and that can help raise me up. Um, soon, soon after that, I found out about this really incredible gym called um, The Collective on South Congress, full of the most incredible entrepreneurial, influential people. I mean, there's athletes that work out there, just people that are outstanding. Um, and I got to like be surrounded by those types of people. Also in that time frame, I remember saying out loud to the universe, I want more girlfriends, more girlfriends that are like who I am as a person. Shortly after that, I met Casey and we literally, I met her and I was like, I feel like I've known you forever. I mean, being, these things happened to me so, so quickly and it was because I was clear. Like it was because I was clear, because I asked for it, because I prayed for it, because I believed like I'm worthy of this, this is what I want. It happened and recently to this past week I mean there have been things that I like within the past few months have just been like I surrender you know with like crying multiple times and like this is what I want but like it truly like I was asking out of fear and I wasn't asking out of a place of like I deserve this this is coming from love this is coming from faith this is what I know what will make, what will make me feel good um, and because I wasn't truly clear about that those things didn't happen but it's just, it's wild because this shit works. Like, I'm telling you, if you implement these things, you find a process. Maybe it's not the exact process that I just shared, but if you find your own personal process and you try it out and you see that it works, like, I just swear by it. So, 
with that, I'm just feeling like I'm on the up and up. It has been such a long time that I've put myself through a roller coaster, and when I decided like I'm done, this is what's gonna happen next, this is what I want, and truly moving out of true rooted faith and love, like I'm like, shit, what am I gonna manifest next? And it makes me so excited because I know that it works and I want it to work for you. I'm sorry that this segment was so long. I just, I like to talk a lot and this was something that I felt really, really called to share about. So hope you took something away from this. Um, I don't know if I'll be vlogging the rest of the day. I'm having a very chill, like giving myself a chill day. I have like one work appointment later, but maybe I'll film a little bit tonight. But if not, um, I'll see you later on in the weekend. A little dinner we are doing sauteed tofu mushrooms and spinach and then some chickpea pasta have a little dinner probably watch some YouTube and then I'm gonna take myself to the movies to go watch the new Batman movie my favorite movie of all time is the Dark Knight so I'm so excited to see this new movie I don't have cable so I literally I had no idea that this movie came out until a few days ago but that's the situation for tonight I just got all comfy to head out to the movies. Got on a comfy sweatshirt and some yoga pants, but I wanted to show you what I'm bringing as a little sweet treat snack. Um, the Hue Chocolate Gems. I tried them for the first time maybe a few months ago, but I just recently picked up the mint ones and holy crap. They are so good. Probably the healthiest chocolate that you will ever be able to find at the grocery store. Um, they literally don't have anything bad in them. And here's the thing about healthy chocolate that I think a lot of people don't understand. You don't need to eat a lot of them to feel satisfied. At least that's how I feel. Like when I once in a while, you know, indulge in like the real stuff, I'm like, hmm, I eat one piece and then I want to have another and another and another. Like I really don't feel that way with healthy chocolate. Um, which is really nice. It definitely like satisfies your sweet tooth. So I'm gonna bring these to the movies and head out. I'm so excited. I've not been to the movies in it's been a hot minute, a hot ass minute. So your girl is ready to go. <laughs> Who remembers going to the mall and hanging out with their friends on the weekends in when middle school, high school? Honestly, what a time. What a time. Felicia, oh my god, that's so funny. Wait, this little skirt of yours is so cute. What? This little, is this a skirt? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Thank you. I love it. Look at this model. <laughs> she does, I mean, you always look cute, but like, I'm just really liking this. Thank you, I love the vibes, oh. guys. We're doing great on this. Oh, the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite ever. Just the spring mix. I just won't stop talking about the spring mix. If I Just a typical day in Texas for you. One day it's 80, 
the next day it's 40, the next day you feel like you're in the Wizard of Oz and you're gonna blow away. Okay, just got home from grocery shopping and I thought I would do a little grocery haul. Today was very basic. I literally just got the staples, so I thought I would show you. So first at the farmer's market, I only picked up two things. I got this bread, my favorite, favorite brand of gluten-free, dairy-free bread. Like when I'm telling you that this bread, it surpasses any other type of gluten-free bread out there. It is so good. Like this loaf is so freaking dense. And I love dense, like, baked goods. It's just, it's so good. Um, I got a whole loaf of another type. It's called the Dabo last week, and I'm almost done with it. So I had to re-up. This one's more of, like, a sourdough, um, the woman said at the stand. So excited to try this one. And my favorite greens, like... I was just telling some friends um, that I met up with at the farmer's market that I've been finding so many bugs in my spring mix from the grocery store and not having it. So I've been getting this bag of spring mix um, at the farmer's market for the last few weeks and truly the best greens I've ever had in my life. They're so fresh, so crisp, so good. So those are the only two things that I got at the farmer's market today. I really wanted to get um, another jar of my pickled I keep on thinking pickled beets, but they're not. Pickled red onions, but the guy was out, so I'll have to wait. But that's all that I got today at the farmer's market. Um, then I went to Trader Joe's, didn't need a lot of things, just um, needed to stock up on some staples. So my staples are veggies, fruits, and protein. So that's literally all that I got. So for veggies this week, Two different types of squash, yellow and zucchini. I also really just like to have this on hand, um, the frozen zucchini spirals. I always, always get fresh broccoli, but um, the broccoli at Trader Joe's lately has just been, I've literally been finding bugs in it, so I'm not about it, and I did not feel like going to another grocery store, which I usually do. I usually bop around to a few, but just wasn't in the mood today. So just got some frozen broccoli, um, asparagus, and then a few sweet potatoes. For fruit, I had to get some more apples. These are organic Pink Lady. Pink Lady is one of my favorites. Um, some strawberries, a few oranges, bag of lemons for lemon water in the morning. And um, I just like to, like for salads, like I'm gonna make a salad after this. I'm probably just gonna do, like drizzle some olive oil and then do some fresh lemon juice on top. Go Macro Bar, this is my favorite um, flavor. The coconut almond butter and chocolate chips. It's so good. Some orange juice. Um, and then just for protein, I got some pasture-raised eggs. I actually really, really like the Trader Joe's eggs, the pasture-raised ones. Um, if I don't get these ones, I usually get the Vital Farms brand from Whole Foods or Sprouts, or I'll just get another um, pasture-raised brand. Smoked turkey breast, um, this I truly only got, I have chicken in my freezer. I only got this because I'm gonna make a salad for lunch and I'm starving and I don't feel like defrosting the chicken going through the whole thing. So I just bought this. Um, I like to also have this on hand, it's great for like salads just because it's made with very minimal things and it's already ready. And then salmon, um, I've been switching over to wild salmon lately and I've been really liking it. So. That is all for my little grocery haul for today. This lunch today looks so boring, but I swear lately I've just been rocking with simple, 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 simple lunches, um, especially when it comes to salads. I swear these greens just make the world of a difference. And for dressing, I just did some avocado oil spray, squeezed some fresh lemon juice and pink Himalayan salt, and literally it's so good. So. Got a little simple salad um, with a side of Mary's Everything crackers, which are gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free. This specific um, flavor is, it's like crack. They're literally so good. So Mary's Everything crackers, um, I got these at Costco, and then just some hummus. So very simple, but so freaking good. My hair is just looking nice and <laughs> crazy from this humidity outside. But um, I'm gonna do some cleaning right now and I have a tip that I started incorporating a few weeks ago. Some people set like a timer when they clean. I have noticed that like with anything, I like to just be in my zone. So I've started to put in my AirPods 
while I clean and just listen to music and it just like keeps me really in the zone and intact so good tip try it out but um it's two o'clock now and I've been trying to separate like what I need to do for the week throughout the weekend I feel like in the past I used to just try to get everything done on Sunday I would just like super overwhelm overwhelm myself and then I would start to like really not look forward to my Sundays because they were just so like so productive and like I need to like mix it up so that's what I've been doing um and I just texted my friend and see I just texted why can I not talk I just texted my friend to see if she wanted to go get ice cream later because I really want to go get some ice cream so if she's busy I'm just gonna probably go by myself um, but I wanted to share a little message that I've been thinking about since yesterday so this weekend has just been so chill like I honestly have just been with myself for the most part um, and I've been really really present in everything that I'm doing yesterday I just like hung out for most of the day I woke up early meditated for like a super long time called my mom because it was her birthday and then ended up walking for like five miles down by the lake and talked to a friend the entire time and we talked about so many things but something that really stuck out to me was um just truly being present in everything that we're doing I feel like so often people really harp on you know working to be present with your family with your friends with people that you care about but also it got us to like thinking and talking about like being present and not just spending time with people but also in everything that you're doing so that you can show up um like truly as I always say like as your best self but like really as your best self in everything that you're doing so like truly being present in an hour of work and like not scrolling on your phone when you're watching a movie like are you truly watching the movie are you scrolling on your phone texting people you know what i mean like even if you're cooking or cleaning or just going for a walk like are you really in those things that you're doing or like is your mind elsewhere um so we just talked about that it really resonated with me and i feel like this weekend i've barely been on my phone i'm like okay i feel like a lot of times i'm just like so overwhelmed with what i have going on that like i'm truly not able to be present in what i'm doing even if i'm having that downtime like i don't just like give myself the mental grace of like truly being in it so this weekend um i've just been really focused on being present in every single activity that i'm doing whether that be reading a book or just like chilling watching youtube vlogs um cleaning whatever it is i'm just like truly trying to be in the thing that i'm doing and yeah i don't know just wanted to share that because i think it like as anything in life there's always something to work on um and that's something that i'm really trying to work on lately is being present in every single activity that i do so that when i'm doing it i can get the most out of it so i'm gonna go clean put in my airpods hopefully my friend is free later so we can go get some ice cream and yeah a good angel number. I got my ice cream. I'm so happy. Um, but I'm going to end off the vlog here. But thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along for another vlog. And I hope you have a good rest of your week. And I'll see you next time. But Amy's dark chocolate with M&M's. So good. So, so good. Okay, bye!